So I'm gonna go ahead and fix the automatic transmission cooler line right now with this uh, coupling, it's a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and split the line right now and then go ahead and uh, put it in. So right here where it's damaged, I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut right here and here and pretty much put the coupling right in between it and clamp both ends off. So the cut's been made and pretty much this is all that I had to cut out. So this was part of the bad chunk right here. So that's where it was leaking from. So looking down here, this is how much space that's there. It's still got a lot of room. Actually, they still could touch right now. So when I put the coupling in, I'll have enough room to clamp everything in. I went ahead and put the clamps on now so that I could go ahead and just put the connector in and just slide it over onto it and just clamp everything down and I'll be finished. So the connector is actually pretty tight in between it. So it's like a perfect seal. Like I tested it out and it took like a lot of pressure just to go ahead and try to take it out. So with the clamps down on it, it's gonna be super hard to take it apart. So this thing is on now and it is tight. It is not going anywhere. I don't foresee any leaks or anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the car up and see if it leaks. So I decided against starting the car right now because I realized the transmission had spewed out a majority of its fluid. And I'm not sure how much transmission fluid is in there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and wait and get some new transmission fluid, fill it back up, and uh, yeah, do the whole procedure. Start it and see how it goes. But I'm pretty positive that it'll go ahead and hold because it's only under like 5 to 30 PSI pressure in those lines. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.